Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some NBA draft rumors that have been going around. But before I get into the video, you know, the NBA draft is in nine days. Make sure you guys click the first link below today's video and join my Bulls group chat. I'm going to have a live chat during the draft and I'm going to be posting videos all day. So stay tuned for that as well. But yeah, let's just jump right into today's video because these, it, these rumors and topics are just really interesting. And this first like rumor that's been going around that I want to talk about is, of course, there's been so many rumors about the Bulls wanting to trade up, trade down, or just stay at four, you know. The Bulls have a lot of options, and this rumor has been going around for a while now. I just haven't made a video on it and talking about it. Definitely stay tuned until later in the video. A rumor just came out like earlier today about LaMelo Ball. But this past rumor is with Golden State, you know. Golden State is a great team. They just were injured last season, and they're looking to trade their number two pick. You know, I believe Golden State's in win-now mode. They don't really want to, want to add, like, a young rookie to their roster. You know, if they do, I see them drafting James Wiseman second. I've also seen rumors about them being really high on Denny. But they also said that about every, like, draft prospect, that they had a great workout with them. I believe just baiting teams like us or, like, Charlotte to try and trade up. But either way, you know, there's been many rumors about the Bulls wanting to trade up for, like, LaMelo Ball or just anyone else. And there's been a potential trade rumors saying that if the Bulls truly do want like the second round pick or like the first pick, the Bulls are going to need to include Wendell Carter Jr. and the fourth pick for the second pick or like Lori Markkinen and our fourth pick for the second pick. And I'm going to be honest, I am not for those trades. I believe just giving up like an already like young, talented player in Wendell or Markkinen with our fourth round pick just to move up two spots in a not so talented like top end of this draft a lot of people and like draft prospects and like just media have said that this draft is not the strongest which i agree you know there's really no clear cut number one i'd say the number one options are any of the top three honestly i believe any of those three can go number one which they all have great potential and they're all young but i just don't see the point in trading up for them like there's no clear cut number one in this draft like a zion williamson type or just Someone like that, that's big, bold, you know, a big name that's going to be the best in the draft. You know, I feel like LaMelo can be great. I feel like James Wiseman can be great. And I feel like Anthony Edwards can be great as well. But you just don't know, man. It's just not worth trading one of our young guys, especially because, after, say we do trade Wendell. I mean, Daniel Gafford will probably start, but after that, we don't have a backup center, depending on who we draft. Same with marketing. You know, if we trade marketing, there's really no good power forwards in this draft up top. I mean, unless you want to draft Obi Toppin, that's two, but I believe that's way too high. So either way, I am not for trading Wendell or Laurie with our fourth pick to move up just two slots. You know, I believe the Bulls are in the, like a dream scenario where we have the fourth pick. I feel like a top three talent might fall to us. There's been a lot of rumors about that. But say the top three talents go number three, like top three, like they're expected to. I believe the Bulls can still get a, a good, young, talented player to add to our roster, whether that's Denny, Obi Toppin, Killian Hayes, you know, the options. The, the Bulls have so many options, man. I'd rather just stay at four instead of trading our number fourth pick and, like, one of our young power forwards or centers just to move up two slots. I just, I don't see the point in that, even though I do believe Wendell and Markton would fit in great with Golden State. Definitely leave any comments or questions below about this first rumor going around. But this second one pretty much just started this morning, and it's a really interesting one, you know. The Bulls and Artoris, you know, Artoris came from overseas. He's hired a bunch of overseas scouts. The Bulls, LaMelo Ball, and Killian Hayes are just automatically, like, linked to each other because of the overseas connections and such. And I'm going to be honest, I'm really high on all the overseas prospects. I'm really high on LaMelo, really high on Danny, and I'm also really high on Killian Hayes. So if the Bulls draft any of those three, I will be happy. But some popular picks among, like, executives to make such a move for LaMelo Ball at one. You know, I guess the media was talking to, like, front offices and organizations, just talking about the draft and such. And they said, like, the three teams that could, like, are, like, projected or, like, the most likely to trade up for LaMelo Ball at one are the Chicago Bulls, the Detroit Pistons, and the Oklahoma City Thunder. You know, I really don't see Oklahoma City doing it. They have, like, the 25th pick. I mean, they do have a lot of future first. So you never know, you know, same with Detroit there. I'm pretty sure they have the seventh or eighth pick. They need a star, man. Detroit's been bad for a while now. But the Chicago Bulls, you know, this doesn't surprise me. The Bulls, they have, there's been thousands of rumors about them being high in LaMelo. 
you know there hasn't really been much rumors about us interviewing him or like working him out i'm pretty sure he said he wasn't doing any workouts for any team so we might have interviewed him but who knows our tourist likes to keep things behind closed doors you know, our Taurus also has hinted at the best player at four being a point guard or like a playmaker. I mean, that could be Denny, honestly. He could be like a point small forward. Or it could be Lomelo Ball or Killian Hayes. Who knows? Like I said, our Taurus loves to keep things behind closed doors. But I'm not completely against this. You know, I don't want to trade up, especially for number one. I feel like, say, Minnesota is like, I mean, they have the number one draft pick. I believe if we like want to move up to number one, they're going to want Zach Levine and like marketing back or something with our fourth pick. I'm just not for that. So I hope LaMelo falls to us at four. I mean, that would be a dream prospect. I mean, he has so much potential. I know some of you guys like hate him. You know, I, I know it's like 50-50. A lot of people either love him or hate him. But you can't deny at four if the like if LaMelo's there, the Bulls have to take him. Like I know he has a lot of risk all over his name. A lot of people don't like him. But he has so much potential. He's like a 6'8 point guard. He has a 6'10 or 6'11 wingspan. You just can't pass that up, you know? So, of course, this is draft week. You know, the draft is in nine days. I'm really excited for it. The rumors are going to keep coming out. I'm going to make videos on them, discussing them. Definitely leave any comments or questions below today's video about the Wendell Carter Jr. and, like, Lori Markton with, like, the fourth pick for the second pick possible trade. Or the Bulls possibly looking towards the number one pick and shopping for, like, Lomelo Ball. You know, it doesn't surprise me. There's been a lot of rumors about this. You know, there's been a lot of interesting chatter around the Bulls wanting to trade up for LaMelo Ball. You know, his stock was falling a few seasons ago or a few weeks ago, I mean. But now it's looking like he's the clear-cut number one or number two. Who knows, man? The rumors are just going to go crazy. You know, a Bulls insider also said that, like, Patrick Williams, I'm going to be honest, I have no clue who he is. But I guess his stock is skyrocketing. And there's been some rumors about the Bulls, like, getting, like possibly, like, being interested in him. And I guess, like I said, his stock is really skyrocketing and he's getting looks as high as like the number fourth pick. You know, I may, I might make a future video on that. If you guys know anything about Patrick Williams, definitely leave any comments or questions below about that as well. You know, like I said, it's draft week. The rumors are going to be coming out. I'm going to be posting every day. Like I said, join my Bulls group chat. I'm going to have videos out all that day as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely leave any comments or questions talking about these possible rumors and possible trades that the Bulls might make on draft night. Also, leave any comments or questions below about who you guys want the Bulls to take at four or trade up or trade down. I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little video. Also, check out my last videos I've been posting every day. My last video had a lot of Bulls news in it. Definitely check it out. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Have a good one.